Travel ban 3.0 made its way before the U.S. Supreme Court today as challengers make the case against the president's entry restrictions on people from several Muslim-majority countries. But as chief legal correspondent Shannon Bream reports, several justices seemed supportive that President Trump has executive authority over immigration, even though lower courts have struck down versions of this ban three times. The final arguments of the Supreme Court term. The justices hearing one of the most controversial cases last. Much of the argument over the third version of the president's so-called travel ban focused on the balance of power between Congress and the president when it comes to immigration and vetting. Justice Sotomayor asking how far the executive can go. So, I, But what I see the president doing here is saying, I'm going to add more to the limits that Congress set and to what Congress said was enough. Where does a president get the authority to do more than Congress has already decided is adequate? Justice Alito addressed claims by critics of the ban, that it's thinly disguised religious discrimination against Muslims. I think there are 50 predominantly Muslim countries in the world. Five predominantly Muslim countries are on this list. The population of the predominantly Muslim countries on this list make up about 8% of the world's Muslim population. And of course, there was plenty of discussion of the president's previous statements, including one removed from his campaign website calling for a quote, total and complete shutdown of Muslims entering the United States until our country's representatives can figure out what is going on. Chief Justice Roberts asking the plaintiff's attorney if the travel ban would be problem free if the president simply disavowed his earlier comments and then reissued the ban. Is your answer to my question yes? Yes. The Tomorrow answer is he issues a proclamation disavowing those statements. Absolutely. Well, the court did seem split along ideological lines, and it appears Justice Kennedy may once again be the swing vote. A decision is due by late June, Brett. Shannon, as the administration awaits this decision, there's another ruling about DACA that is really raising some eyebrows. Yes, yet another judge has struck down DACA, at least this administration's ability to put a stop on it. And so while other judges have said, you got to freeze it where it is now, this judge has gone even further saying, not only do you got to protect the people who are in the program now, you have to start opening it up to new applications. Now, with that, they gave the administration 90 days to file a new memo to say why they're justified in shutting it down. So it won't start for at least 90 days. But this judge is saying you got to ramp the program back up and do it soon. Now, Congress could short circuit all of this by mm -hmm. doing something, but it's not likely that's going to happen. I wouldn't hold my breath. Yes, Shannon. Thank you. We'll see you at 11 tonight. See you